good evening to all the viewers and listeners of abhinay bharati english channel last week i gave a, a talk on pirandello's six characters in search of an author in my concluding remark i mentioned that six characters in search of an author is not only a serious play but it has been interpreted by critics in different ways i also mention that some have described it as a tragic comedy as an intellectual comedy as a satire on the naturalist kind of drama so on and so forth i also mention that i would like to speak on one or two aspects of this play in my next lecture that is today's talk however i thought that i would like to touch i should touch all these aspects but owing to my indisposition i thought that i may not be able to cover all the topics in fact my indisposition became so serious in the morning that i even thought that whether i would be able to make this talk or not but as the motto of avinay bharati is see come what may the show must go on i thought at least let me touch upon one of these aspects of the play namely six characters in search of an author as a tragic comedy the concept of tragic comedy is not new though aristotle in his poetics clearly stated that tragedy and comedy should not be mixed together he was dead opposed to the admixture of tragic and comic elements in a play however the subsequent playwrights did not pay much attention to this dictum in fact dramatis great or not so great mixed these two elements in their place and very often we quote the example of shakespeare the greatest playwright shakespeare has made clever use of the comic element in his great tragedies in hamlet we have the grave digger scene which is full of comedy though the situation see highlights the tragic atmosphere in that scene similarly in macbeth we have the porter scene soon after macbeth's murdering king duncan there is a scene there is knocking at the gate and the porter imagines that he is the porter of a hell gate and he talks all kinds of nonsense however though these scenes appear to be comic they are not comic in fact some critics have pointed out that they provide comic relief at this juncture i would like to tell you about the great essay written by thomas de quincey the essay entitled on the knocking of porter in macbeth and he actually goes on to explain that how that scene actually intensifies the tragic atmosphere in the play macbeth has just murdered duncan it is a very heinous crime or sin whatever you may call it and the next scene the porter imagining that he is a porter of hellgate actually 
tells us that the things that will follow will not be the much or less to the things that may happen in hell in other words these comic scenes are meant not only to provide comic relief but also to intensify the element of the tragic in the play however in course of time so when we come to the 20th century see the distinction between tragedy and comedy is almost wiped out when we study the plays of bernard shaw shaw did not like the classification of the plays into tragedy and comedy he called his plays plays pleasant and plays unpleasant in my earlier talks also i have touched this point now coming back to pirandello pirandello doesn't use the term the tragic comedy in this sense at all in fact i would like to quote what pirandello has said in his preface to the revised edition of six characters in search of an author i quote six characters is a mixture of tragic and comic fantastic and realistic in a humorous situation that is quite new and infinitely complete a drama which is conveyed by means of the characters which carry it within them and suffer it a drama breathing speaking self proper which seeks at all at all costs to find the means of its own presentation and the comedy of the vain attempt at an improvised realization of the drama on the stage now if we carefully study this statement now it becomes quite clear in what sense pirandello used tragic comedy again in one of his articles entitled humor which was published in the year 1908 much before the play six characters was written pirandello described in detail the interdependence of comedy and tragedy essential for a complete play he puts the word complete in into inverted commas a play which truly imitated reality realism for him was not the black and white categories of good and evil heroic and villainous or laughable and tragic life is never so simple but a complete combination of all kinds of negative and positives the structure and story of this particular play is an ingenious mixture of the serious and the humorous neither one nor the other exists for its own sake so this statement clearly makes it quite clear what pirandello intended to achieve in this play namely six characters in search of an author now the very opening of the play is both comic and amusing when the curtain rises what do we see that 
it is a drama company the actors all have assembled in the hall and they are about to start the rehearsal of the play the games of the rule written by pirandello himself and the actors are in a very casual mood some are talking to each other someone is learning by heart his dialogue and another is complaining about the role he has got etc etc and the young ones are busy in singing and dancing and we also see a carpenter coming with his tools and carrying on his work then the producer comes and asks <coughs> sorry that they are already late by a few minutes say about 10 to 15 minutes and they should be they should be quite serious about starting the rehearsal and they observe that the lead role the you may call her the heroine or the female uh, heroine uh, uh, the female uh, lead role sorry uh, has not come and as they are they talking about her she makes her entry and now everything is ready as the scene or the rather the rehearsal progresses suddenly the gatekeeper comes and announces that six characters have come and they want an audience with the producer so the very entry of the six characters is in one way comic in the sense when the rehearsal is seriously going on the sudden entry of them the interrupts or disturbs the rehearsal that is going on but at the same time these six characters are not the normal human beings they are masked and pirandello gives all the details of their personality in the sense the kind of mask they are wearing and the expression on their face so this actually makes the characters different or distinct from the actors for rehearsing and as the father the one of the six characters approaches the producer and tells him that they were created by an author who could not put them on the stage the very statement appears to be quite amusing if a playwright has created these characters what prevented him from putting them on the stage we do not know pirandello doesn't explain it but however these six characters they tell the producer that they have a very interesting story and they would be happy if at all the producer puts them on the stage then the producer asks where is the script and the father answers him there is no script all the action is within us so this kind of conversation actually is not only thought provoking but also it raises questions about drama rehearsal actors characters illusion that the theater creates etc etc now as the father goes on to explain the story some of the details in the story are quite comic the father introduces the lady as his wife and he describes her widow when the father is alive 
and the lady is in front of him how can the lady be a widow then the facts that he reveals are quite amusing he says that he married her but in course of time he realized that she was not a proper or fit life partner to him there was intellectual dichotomy and he thought that she is not up to his intellectual level but as he proceeds the fact that he reveals is still more amusing he had a secretary the secretary and this woman were on good terms they understood each other well when the father realized that the secretary is very much interested in this woman he allowed him to live with her and the relay the living relationship between the two resulted in three children so the father had already one son because he realized that she could not be able to bring him up properly he sent him to the countryside where he grew up as a young man the step son so this family found it difficult because the father was taking extra care of say the family or the daughter so he shifted to a different place and as a result he was left alone but the untimely death of the secretary leave the family see in deep trouble so they came come back and the father takes care of them and the woman got an employment in madam pieces dress shop it was not only a garment shop she also ran a brothel where the daughter in order to earn money or to earn livelihood she entertain the customers there now the fact that the father asking his secretary to marry his wife and live happily with her or once he dies again taking care of the family they are not only uh what should i say i i can't use the word amusing but you know difficult to accept as they are but that's how the story goes on now when the confrontation between father and the step daughter takes place in madam pace's shop without knowing that she is his step daughter would have almost committed that heinous sin or crime but for the intervention of the mother so this has created an indescribable sense of shame and guilt on the part of the father and the daughter is equally dazed so when they narrate this to the actors and the producer asks the actors to repeat it on the stage the actors repeat it but both the father 
and the stepdaughter complain that the actors are not doing justice to the scene or the action what they are doing is they are trying to interpret it so that's how they express their dissatisfaction over it the father's role in the play is often visible causing laughter it's curious character in the sense who sends his wife with another man thinking only of their happiness and then keeps track of the families whereabouts father's behavior once he has abandoned his wife he should have maintained a distance but he is still interested in knowing all the whereabouts of the family father's own life is lonely the son who has seemed irritated by his wife's demure presence but can't help missing her once she has gone the complex storytelling between the father and the step daughter is serious and passionate but they are never allowed to present their passionate drama on the stage pirandello doesn't allow us to amuse for long he takes care not to have his audience gripping their chairs either there has to be a feeling of the opposite and he achieves it through these curious constant shifts between involving the audience and distracting it sorry the producer however rejects six characters to begin with when they approach him and request him to put their story on the stage in the beginning he is not interested in it but he tries to make some sense of what the characters are trying to say his perception is however very limited and he cannot think beyond the stage demands his enthusiasm for his own achievements may be humorous but his failure at the end is tragic destruction of ambitious drama the characters on the one hand were rejected by their creator that is the author who created them and despite all efforts they are once again rejected in the end paradoxically enough their drama is too emotional and psychologically oriented to be given a just presentation on the stage so 
Pirandero deals with a very serious issues and as see some critics have pointed out it is a it is an intellectual comedy in this play he has actually dealt with the serious problems of reality and illusion drama and its theatrical possibilities so on and so forth in other words pirandello intended this play as a reaction to the naturalistic drama that was quite popular in those days so his intention was to question the so called creation of illusion on the stage therefore taking up these issues the drama according to some critics is a drama of idea but again we should note that the kind of drama of idea written by ibsen and bernard shaw is quite different from the drama of idea that pirandello wrote in the hands of ibsen and bernard shaw drama became drama of idea in the sense that they dealt with the serious contemporary problems of the day and turned theater into a platform for discussion of ideas and thoroughly analyzing the contemporary social or political problems whatever solution they offered may not be the final one but their aim was to awaken the people to these problems and make them realize what is needed or what is the need of our as far as these social problems were concerned but in the hands of pirandello drama becomes drama of idea in the sense that he goes on to discuss what is reality what is illusion what is the relation between the two how best drama can attempt to solve this or take it as a theme and thereby the play becomes not only a drama of idea we may call it an intellectual play or philosophical play and as some critics have described as a metaphysical play also so it is in this sense that the play is an intellectual comedy at this juncture again i would like to quote what pirandello has said i quote from pirandello people say that my art is obscure and they call it cerebral drama the new drama possesses a character distinct from the old whatever the latter had at its basis passion the former the expression of intellect one of the 
novelty that i have given to modern drama consists in converting the intellect into passion this is what he claims converting the intellect into passion this is how pirandello in 1924 defended the charges of obscurity leveled against his drama so it is not only in six characters in search of an author that in many of his other plays also this theme is dealt with for example henry the fourth so in our words pirandello turned drama into a means of dealing with the relation between reality and illusion and how best see we can experience it on the stage he even goes to tell us that what an individual appears at a particular situation to a particular person may not be always true for example the father and his confrontation with the step daughter in the garment shop of madame pace is not the only aspect of his personality in fact he goes on to say that man wears many masks and at a given time or situation whatever we see of a person is not everything about him so in this way many of the randallos plays are concerned with this thing that's why you know he is called a pioneer in modern drama so with these few points on this play i would like to conclude therefore you know i once again express my ill health as a reason for not covering the topic as i wanted to do it but to repeat the popular saying the show must go on instead of cancelling the talk i thought that let me share a few points regarding this play and thereby you no know, let me keep the show going on so i request you to excuse me for not doing complete justice to the topic but however, but however i have tried to make you aware of some of the serious topics that pirandello has dealt with in six characters and in the play henry the fourth also so with these words i conclude my this evening's talk thank you for listening and goodbye